Hello chess friends, how are you? Alpha Zero and Stockfish Maximum rating is over 4000 LO, we played a classical game where I used over 100 tactics, this is the mind-blowing game of Alpha and me, Alpha Zero have black pieces and I have white pieces, so let's go, I started with E4, we have E5, Knight C3, Knight F6 and we have Knight F3 which is called Petrov defense with 3 knights variation, Alpha could bring his knight on c6 or bishop b4. Bishop e2 was also available but he played modern variation of pick defense d6 to close the center, so I strikes it with d4, knight d7 and after bishop to c4, I am willing to attack on f7 with knight g5, so bishop here, castle castle rook slides to e1, I can play h3 to protect it and a4 on my next run, c6 by alpha, alpha wants to push and develop his queenside pawns, so we have a4 queen e8, h3 queen d8, these queen moves of alpha is very annoying, so I get a lead development of my pieces, a5. You may think a6 is coming so if you tries to block it by playing a6 yourself, then the killer move will come bishop takes f7, king takes bishop then knight g5 check will paralyze you, king g8 then knight e6, your queen will be trapped and you will lose the game, so back to the position, we have e takes d4, you may think bishop takes pawn still available but it's not worthy anymore, let me show you why, after king takes f7 knight g5 check king backs knight d6 to target the queen, black will say, do your best, takes 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 rook takes d8 and count the pieces, black have lead advantages and he is going to control black pieces, so back to the position I played bishop takes d4 and this is coming, so alpha blocks it with h6, e5 takes knight takes e5, these are targeting on this pawn so knight takes e5, bishop takes knight will lead queen exchanges, so I take the knight with my rook, knight e4 is coming to target it, bishop b3 is also playable, bishop f8 rook takes e8, queen takes rook will lead bishop, takes knight and black's pawn will be doubled, h6 pawn will be weak so we have knight takes e8, queen goes to h5 to target this pawn with two pieces, queen e7 knight to e4, the knight is running too fast, but, ops, the knight is unguarded, so if you take the knight with queen, then queen takes f7 will come, king h7 queen g8 check king g6 bishop check, king g5 bishop e3 check king f6 and after queen takes f8, your king will be in a super danger, how will you protect it? If queen e7 happen, then bishop e4 check will ban you, any king move will take away your queen so queen to e5, takes takes and that's it, white will completely win the game, so, back to the position, we have bishop e6 to cover the diagonal from the light square bishop, so bishop c5 with supporting of the knight, queen d7 bishop takes f8, taking the bishop with king isn't good, because there is knight c5, it will lose your bishop on e8 and it will damage your structure and the king position. So alpha played bishop takes e4, I sacrificed the bishop again with, bishop takes g7 king takes g7, and the king gets exposed, you know what, what does that mean? Now bring the rook to attack to the king by taking opportunity of open file and disgusting pawns, we have queen d4 rook slides to give a check king f8 queen takes check king e7 queen h4 check f6, rook to e3, knight takes pawn with a discover check is coming, so alpha blocks it with the bishop, queen h7 check king f8 queen h6 check, the king is facing windmill checks, so if you tries to blocks the checks with knight g7, let me show you the variation, then rook g3 will come to target the knight. How do you protect the knight? Ok queen d7, nice move, but there is a another better nice move knight c5, queen f7 knight takes e6, if you take the knight then queen takes g7 will come to force you into checkmate, so king here knight takes g7, and that's it, who is winning the game you can see here the king will be totally exposed so back to the position, we have king e7, c3 to eliminate the queen position, queen d1 check king h2 queen here, I played f4. My plan is to play c4 to move away the queen from the file so king f7 queen h7 check, king here queen takes b7 and this targets to the rook, if you move the rook then queen takes pawn will come, it will make a clear passed pawn for me, so alpha tries to protect it with queen d8. Now I sacrificed the knight with knight g5, threatening to take the bishop with a fork, you may think that there is a trap after pawn takes knight, so if you don't take the knight and play another move, for example, bishop g8. 
Then I will play queen b4 check king g7 rook e7 check king here then I will sacrifice the rook as levy would speak loudly, the rook, takes and queen check, knight blocks, knight f7 check and that's it, you are gonna lose the queen and the game, so chess friends, if you want to become smart in chess like me, then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share my tactics strategies and imagination of chess, back to the position. Alpha calculates these lines because he is a stockfish subscriber, he takes the knight, I played rook takes bishop, pawn takes, rook h6 threatening to checkmate on h8 square, with the rook and queen, so queen c7 rook h8 check king here queen takes a8, f3 you discover check to the king, king here takes queen takes, here, Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.